Hello and welcome to the 5 minute tutorial on how to use SpoilerBlock, the easy to use and versatile bot to block spoilers in your Discord server. Let's get started. First of all, you should probably uh, invite SpoilerBlock, which you can do by spoilerbot.xyz slash invite. Now then, once you've invited it to your Discord server, all you have to do is type sp question mark help to get a list of all the commands you can do. The custom server prefix can be changed by doing sp question mark prefix and then a new prefix such as this, less than. But for this tutorial, we'll keep it as sp question mark. Uh, all users can do sp question mark check me, which checks if they are able to post spoilers. Uh, the no entry sign means that the check is not enabled, the cross means that the check is enabled but they are not allowed to, and the check mark means that they are allowed to post spoilers. You only need one check mark to be able to post spoilers. In my case, I can't post spoilers, so let's check this. I post a spoiler and it says the server doesn't allow spoilers. <clears throat> now if you do uh, sp question mark check spoilers off by default they are off but i turn them on if you do off do stable, disable spoiler checking do test again and as you can see it allows the spoiler and if i do sp question mark check me you will see that this server doesn't check for spoilers very nice we can turn it back on check spoilers on now we can take a look at all of the whitelists. There are th currently three different types of whitelists. The member whitelist, the channel whitelist, and the roles whitelist. All can be separately uh, turned on and off and can be um, members, channels, or roles can be deleted from them. So let's check out the member whitelist. All you have to do is type sb whitelist add and then mention a name. I'll mention myself. And there we go. I've added myself to the whitelist. But as you will know, as you will note, I still can't uh, post spoilers, and this is because each whitelist is um, independently turned on and off. Adding someone to a whitelist doesn't automatically turn it on. So what you have to do is type sp whitelist on, and there we go. Now we have enabled the user whitelist, and if you do sp check me, you'll see that I have a check mark, meaning that I can post spoilers. Very nice. Now we also have C whitelist, uh, and how uh, we add one of these is sp question mark C whitelist, add, and then mention a channel. Talk. Again, we have to enable it separately, like this. And if we do sp check me again, you'll see that I have now two check, check marks. You will note that in this channel, uh, this check mark will turn into a cross. Like so. As you can see, the channel is not whitelisted, but in this channel, it is. Now let's look at the role whitelist. Again, how you add a role whitelist is not by mentioning it, but by simply saying the name of the role, and this is case sensitive. So my highest role is admin with a capital A. I'll add admin. Again, let's enable it. And now if I do SP check me, you'll see that I have all three ticks. Please note that the role whitelist only checks for the user's highest role. If I were to add myself to Nitro Classic, like so, but remove the admin role and you check me, my highest role isn't whitelisted. The admin role is my highest role, not Nitro Classic, but Nitro Classic is the one that is whitelisted. Be very careful of this. So that is the very basics of spoiler block. If you need any help, go to the support server and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you very much for watching.